Colonel Gaddafi's 42-year grip on Libya appears to be nearing its end, with rebels claiming they are in control of most of the country's capital, Tripoli. Heavy fighting has been reported near Gaddafi's residence. Earlier, three of his sons were said to have been arrested. Following a night of chaos in the capital, crowds were seen in the city's central square with people waving revolutionary flags. Well, let's now get the latest from Tripoli and speak to Dr. Franklin Lamb, the director of Americans for Middle East Peace. Mr. Lamb, thank you very much for being here with us. We understand that you were wounded during the overnight kiss. So tell us how you're feeling now and tell us how it happened. Well, thank you for asking. I'm, I'm fine. Actually, it was yesterday morning. I borrowed a bicycle about uh, 730 here. Uh, and I rode around for 90 minutes to Green Square, checking out the streets of Tripoli, which were quiet, as they are, incidentally, right now. Um, and coming back, I uh, uh, ditched the bike, uh, walked by the swimming pool, and was shot in my right leg. In fact, I don't know if you can see this, my dear. This is the culprit. <laughs> this is the bullet that the uh, a doctor gave me. Apparently, a sniper from the uh, abandoned Marriott Hotel was shooting, and I, I didn't notice it until I, uh, I got hit. But I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, and uh, um, yes, thank you. It was good to hear that you're fine, but um, tell us what's happening in the city now. Who is in control? Yeah. Well, uh, th that's uh, unsure. Uh, you've heard the, the uh, media reports. I can tell you about this section. Um, I have a very good uh, vantage point for the 26th floor of the, uh, of the um, uh, Corinthia Hotel. Plus, I, I, I uh, have a friend who just, who just came in. What I observed about 40 minutes ago is a, a, a convoy of 22 military vehicles from the government filled with fighters um, and they came by our hotel and they just pulled into the right by the Bab el Baha Hotel by the sea here near the Marriott. There's a compound called Five Towers, or five buildings there. They set up a, uh, I can see a, um, a checkpoint and they're obviously digging in. What I, uh, what some people are suspecting here, and it's just speculation, but I'm getting this feeling myself, is that as in other uh, places, uh, the uh, government here is luring the rebels in, allowing them to have their uh, fun at Green Square, and then very well may be counterattacking. There's credence to that if you give any um, uh, acknowledgement uh, to uh, Ibrahim Moussa's claim of, of 65,000 uh, well-armed troops. Uh, there, there are clearly a resistance going on in pockets uh, to the rebels. So while I would acknowledge that the end is, is probably coming, it's not clear to me that that has happened yet and that there won't be a serious counterattack. Only the hours coming will say uh, about the attitude of the people they seem very willing, the ones I've talked to, to frankly jump ship and support the new government. This hotel that has hosted government officials until two days ago, the large picture of Qaddafi, the uh, front desk, which adorns every building here, as you can imagine, disappeared. So did the 72 green flags on the poles that flew yesterday and before outside the uh, main entrance. So I think the population will enlarge, uh, by and large, will not have a huge problem in shifting uh, its allegiance um, um, to a large extent. Obviously, the, the, the degree of resistance, the uh, reaction of the tribes, the infighting with the NTC, we have yet to know. But I say that uh, the uh, a battle for Tripoli is not over, uh, and we won't know uh, until the coming hours and days exactly what's going on here. The, uh, the, again, there's a sense that uh, these rebels may be lured into a trap. Or if not, then the uh, claims by the government were high. Uh, we don't know the answer to that yet. All right, Franklin Lamb, thanks very much indeed for this. As you just uh, told us, uh, the atmosphere that you've spent the past few hours has been emotionally charged there. Do stay safe. And that was uh, Franklin Lamb, director of Americans for Middle East Peace, live from Tripoli.